Have you ever had one of those weird dreams? You just wake up and all of a sudden something weird just happens? Like you have that one of those weird dreams? Just had one of those weird dreams last night and uh oh it had to involve like a zombie apocalypse or something like that. Yeah, kinda weird. And if you hear that That's my uh my dog drinking water right now. He's or licking the bowls, never mind. Um uh, this is my first real vlog, so uh yeah, I'll just be talking and giving you guys a little bit about what's going on in the world world of uh just the things that, that are on my mind and uh just tell you guys. Um so the first thing I really want to talk about is uh something that I uh, just just watched a couple minutes ago. Um and it involves addictions. Um not not collecting addictions, but just you know, addictions in general. And this was on uh, Dr. Phil. Yes, I know some people are gonna be saying why you're watching Dr. Phil, but um, I, I just watched it. Just watched like an episode yesterday, and I uh, involved addictions uh, coincidentally. Um, I want to talk about it for a minute because it's a very interesting topic, and it's something that I am interested to talk about. So, um. Addictions are both good and bad. Now, what I mean what I mean by bad is what I mean by those is that they're both good and bad in the sense that you can be successful in any of those categories. Like for example, you could be successful in gaming, but it doesn't mean that you're gonna get all the money. It doesn't mean that you're gonna get a bunch of money though. And a very good person to to uh, know this, and it's a very good example, and I'm not trying to discourage his channel, I know some of you guys watch that channel, it's MC Jugger Nuggets. Yeah, I, I've i seen your Psycho series. Um, I have no idea if they're real or not, but it's a really good example to show you that addicting could lead to things, and gaming is a good example. Because, well... It's not in the sense that gaming is bad, it's in the sense of what, how you're playing it is bad. For example, if you're playing like Call of Duty and all that stuff, it's bad in the sense of how you're playing it. Not what you're, what, not like in the enjoyment, it's how you view it. Like if you're viewing it for like the violence and all that stuff, violence in video games, you, you're not, it's, it's going to affect you and it's going to affect you in a really bad way. Now, on the other hand, there are times where gaming and collecting have been successful, but you have to take into account that the money is not going to come quickly, and it's not going to be that much money. So, the reason I bring this up is because I i don't know why, but I've had some weird feeling that I've had some collecting addiction issues, because... I just sat on my couch for a good two hours. And you know what the weird part is? I woke up two hours ago. And I've been doing that for the past five days. Waking up around 1 p.m. or something like that. That's, that's telling me a lot of things. And I'm not saying that I'm going to stop collecting... Because I would never do that. I would not stop collect. Well, I, there's a point in time where collecting will slow down, and I'll have to talk about think about other things. But you know, in this sense, I will not stop collecting because it's fun. But I also have to remember about a lot of other things, and that's why collecting for me is going to slow down a little bit. Because you know, I have slowed down a lot in collecting. Like I haven't bought. A lot of transformers lately so yeah I'm trying to slow down in the sense that because it's that time it's that time where I need to put my money towards other things now that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop this channel there no I, I also talk about like transformers and all that cool stuff but in the sense of collecting 
if you're asking about my collection, I will tell you that I will be stopping at a certain point. It will not be right now, but I'm just saying when the time comes, there will be a certain point where I have to stop. So, so there's that, and uh, hopefully I can slow down a little bit, and hopefully there will be a time where I don't stop altogether, but hopefully there's a time, what I'm trying to say is, I hope there's a time where I can invoke my time for this and invoke my time for collecting. I'm trying to work on that and hopefully it works out because I need to stop. Because look at my hair, even look at my hair. Can you tell that I have, and yeah that was nice, my can't, my cameras went all berserk. Can, can you tell that I have washed this thing? Can you? I've not. I haven't. That's... I haven't even brushed my teeth that much. That's why I'm going to the dentist tomorrow. It's... It's not right. It needs to stop at a certain point. And this is... This is not my, me saying I'm going to stop collecting. It's just me saying I'm going to slow down. I'm going to slow down in the sense of what I purchase and the stuff I'm buying. So doesn't mean that I'm going to stop, it just means I'm going to slow down. So, so that's a little thing I want to share with you guys because if you are in a scenario where collecting is affecting your relationship with your friends, it's affecting your job or affecting your life in general, you have to take into account what's going on. So if that is happening, just try to slow down. That's my. That's the probably the best advice I can give to anyone who, if they want to stop collecting. Um. So but that's that. I'm a little bit sorry that I had to share that with you guys, but it's something that's been on my mind. I just want to mention it with you guys right now. So. So that's that. So. With that out of the way, let's talk about the next thing that happened. And uh, this is a little bit of an interesting news that I saw. Um, and it involves Shia LaBeouf. Um, and you're automatically knowing what I'm about to talk about, so I'm just going to get into it. Um, for those who don't know, in Shia LaBeouf, I'm, I'm very sorry if I say this, but Shia LaBeouf has a girlfriend, and I did not even know it. That's, that's very sad of me to, to think that, that Shia LaBeouf and I have a girlfriend, but I didn't know that Shia LaBeouf had a girlfriend at this time, so that was a little bit of a surprise for me. Um, it's, it's nice to know that, you know, he had a girlfriend, it's pretty cool. Now, mention, notice I said, had a girlfriend. So, what happened is, in Germany, Shia LaBeouf and his girlfriend had a fight, and, and, uh, Shia LaBeouf said, in quotes, if I had stayed there, I would have killed her. And, this has apparently gotten Entertainment Weekly, uh, a bunch of other news websites, up in, up in, you know, like, pitchforks and, and, uh, knives and all that cool stuff, cool stuff, all that bad stuff, um, saying that Shia LaBeouf shouldn't have done that. Um, the thing that I really want to discuss is, what the heck is there to talk about? I mean, really, what is there to talk about? Anyway, um, <laughs> I just heard, heard my uh, my dad washing his car or something. It's pretty loud. Um, anyway, um, the reason I want to bring this up is because why are we discussing it? Why? What is there to talk about? Because really, it's it's nothing new. I mean, it's nothing really big to talk about because well, there isn't that much to discuss, and it's just something that happens in general. I mean, it happens everywhere. We see it all the time. That mean, By that logic sense, that means you have to tell... You could talk about every single person's fight with every single person's life and scenario, and it's not right of you to do that. 
Drink water. Um, what I mean to say was, I don't see what the point is to discuss about because I don't know why people wanted to get a huge get a video on it. If you want to see the video, I'll I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys want to see it. But it doesn't make sense why we're talking about it and why it's a little bit big on the news. That just tells me that the news has nothing. And it also tells me that the world has nothing to this week. Because... Why are we talking about Shia LaBeouf? It's Shia LaBeouf, okay? It's a, it's just a casual boyfriend-girlfriend fight, and it happens all the time. I mean, remember, remember Ben Affleck? Yeah, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Gardner, they broke up. No one's really talking about that. So why are we talking about Shia LaBeouf and uh, what? Whose face? I'm, I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Um, why are we discussing this fight? What, because he said I would kill you? Okay, people mean, people say that all the time, okay? And it's probably not with meaning, they just say it all the time. I mean, if, you know, I, I would say something, like, I've said it sometimes, like I would kill somebody if they did something like that. Maybe he didn't mean like, you know, like, like a physically kill them, he just meant like, you know, implore, like, oh, if I stayed there, I would have killed her. Um, I'm not saying I defend Shia LaBeouf, but... I understand, I don't really, it's kind of mixed, because I can't really tell you who I agree with, but, um, I will say that the weird thing is, is that after this whole thing was done, Shia LaBeouf tried to FaceTime Megan Fox, and the only thing in my head was, what the heck is she going to do? What, fly all the way over here to defend your, defend your butt? Because, no, she's not going to do that. And I don't care if she was the co-star in Transformers and Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. She's not going to help you. Okay? She's working on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Okay? She's not going to leave all that just to come help you. Okay? You got to take that into account, dude. <laughs> the woman has is working. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, but the lady has actually got something going for her. She's actually doing something, working on a franchise that's actually really popular. So, I'm sa what I'm saying is, what was the whole point of that? Okay, what's the whole point of FaceTime Megan Fox? What is Megan Fox going to do? Nothing. And I knew that she wasn't going to answer because he looks at that uh, guy. He's like, Shia LaBeouf, why, why is she calling? Why is she? Why is he calling me? Okay. It makes no sense whatsoever, so, um, it just seems weird like that, and the whole, I found it so weird at the end of the video, like, Rhett McDonald, it's like saying, like, Rhett McDonald's, and these guys saved me. Okay, um, it just seemed kind of odd that, it just seemed kind of weird how, it ended. I don't think that, like in the in the beginning of the video where they're fighting, I I didn't see nothing. I didn't understand what the heck was to report. This was just like your casual fight. By that logic, you that we would have a huge headline on Ben Affleck and Jennifer Gardner. But then towards the end of the video, when you're starting to FaceTime Megan Fox and talk about guns, that then that's where it got a little interesting. So. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why. Um, it's it's just something that happens in our world, guys. It's going to happen. It always happens. It's been something that's been going on for like years. Big actors always end up going downhill. Like look at Miley Cyrus, um, Selena Gomez, Justin Bieber, even Zach and Cody from from a uh, the Sweet Life on Deck. And the sweet life of Zack and Cody. Uh, Cole Sprouts and Don't Sprouts. There we go. They're they're done. Okay? If you know anything about them, they're done. Um, 
I don't know about Aztec Ten Steel. I think she's I think she's good, but Scarecrow Movie Five, which is terrible. Um, but you get what I'm saying, okay? A lot of these actors are going downhill, okay? And actresses, sorry. It's it's really weird to see that, and there's only like very very few people that have actually still kept their career intact. Like they've actually still have been recognized and are still you know very popular. One one in the sense, one good example is Debbie Ryan. Um, she has she's still pretty popular on Disney if you really think about it. Yes, I know Jesse's not that good of a show. We we all know that. Jesse's not that good of a show. But the sweet life on deck is what changed her on Disney. Period. That, that it, you cannot tell me that anything else has changed her, okay? The sweet life on deck is the reason that she is on Disney. I know she, I know she's probably been on other things that have changed her, but show-wise, the sweet life on deck is the one that changed her. And Jesse is not bad of a show, but it's still a show that needs work, and she's good as the lead role. Drink your water. As I, this is not an advertisement. This is just a, this is just me saying, drink the water. It's good. Well, it's the last. Tell her El Nino comes. So. Yeah, these all these actors and actresses that are going downhill, but there's like a few that are still going. That's like Debbie Ryan, which I could forgive for certain reasons. Um, there's actually people like on Marvel that are that are really good still. Like for example, and I know it's I know people say it's not a good show, but I will defend the show. Agents of Shield. I actually really like that show. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say that the show is terrible, and they have good reasons why the show is not that good, but once you get to season two, the show gets interesting. And I don't think people really give it that much of a chance. So, And before you ask, no, I have not seen Agent Carter, and I know that some of my friends have been telling me to watch Agent Carter, but I'm looking at you, Tyler. Um, I will watch it eventually. Um, but Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s cast, they are, like, they're really, really cool, and they, I don't, I don't think they've done anything weird at all, okay? They're a pretty, they're pretty cool casting just like that, because they don't go out there and do drugs or go to parties or anything like that. They are just cool. Like, uh, Clark Gregg, Agent Coulson, great. He has done nothing. He's like a comic fanboy. And he's still great. And people like that I will defend. But I just, you know, I just don't like it that these actors and actresses are going downhill. And like Shia LaBeouf and stuff like that I was mentioning. So, yeah. The whole point of this is I don't understand why we really have to talk about it because it happens. It happens all the time. We see it every single day. Um, it's really sad that people would have to see that, but it happens. It's just it's just how the world works. So, yeah. Um, I hope that Shia LaBeouf recovers from this, but at the same time, nah. I mean, I don't really... It's not really something huge to talk about, and it's not really much worthy to talk about, so... Yeah, hopefully he does well. I mean, he's he's a good actor. I appreciate him in Transformers and uh, Surf's Up, which was one of his CGI movies, which I thought was really cool. Um, Fury, I thought, was one of his redeeming movies. I hope you do well, dude. That's that's all I'll say. Um, that is it. Um, last thing I want to talk about uh, before I go is uh, some things about the channel. The second channel, precisely. Um, I know a lot of people are still, I know some people are probably wondering what's going on with the second channel, and I will tell you this, the second channel's idea is done. I have an idea for it. I will not reveal what that idea is just yet. Uh, I will say that I have been doing a couple of 
a couple of uh, test runs with those video with uh, with this idea. But let's just say the idea is in effect. I have an idea and it's getting into effect. I just need to get a few things sorted out with this with the second channel, and I'm just worried about what's going to go on with that channel and how people are going to view it because. If you really look at my channel, it is dedicated to Transformers, but when I talk about like movies and stuff, that's like my least viewed videos. And the TF Freak, which I'll get to in a little bit. Um, for some reason, people don't like it when I talk about movies, but I understand you guys are Transformers fans. Transformers fans will be Transformers fans. Um, if you guys don't want me, want me to talk about movies in general, you could just say that, and I could just take down the movie watch and all that all the stuff I was doing because you know I'm not gonna post something like I said before I'm not gonna post something and get nothing out of it that just that's a waste of my time and a waste of video but again I will post videos if I want to and but at the same time I want people to at least watch it so um, I am appreciative that you guys watched my happy birthday video for Optimus Prime. Happy birthday again for, for Peter Cullen yesterday. Um, very happy that you guys are enjoying that video, that two minute video that I made. Um, I will get back to the Bo Show eventually, because there's a few other things we need to talk about. And rumors. Um, now, lastly, we need to talk about the Tia Freak and Bo History. A few things that have changed to that, to that thing. Um, the TF Freak, I am a little bit worried about this, about how that show's going, because I have noticed the when I post episode 3, uh, Ultra Magnus Sucks, I only got one view from that video. One view. And that worries me. That worries me a lot about that series, because I want that to be a good series. I, I'm trying to make that a good series, but um, that one video just tells me that people are not interested in what that is. So I'm trying to figure out what's going to go on with that series, and I'm not saying I'm going to take down that series, but if I have to result to taking down the series, I will. And I don't think people really care about it taking down if I take down the series or not, but. I at least want people to see that that series is going somewhere. I'm trying to make it something, but hopefully it works out and hopefully I can make that series something. Um, yeah, hopefully. Um, because that, that series I want to be like one of my main things on my channel, but hopefully that works out. And the last thing I need to talk about is uh, bow history. Now. If you guys have looked at my playlist or anything about that that part of my sh uh, my channel, you would notice that I have changed the, the name of that series. Now it's no longer called Bow History because honestly, every single thing I put I've made on my channel is, has the word bow in it. I'm trying to change that for the better. Um, this new series is called C C point C C C T C T T. It's called C T T. Stands for Chronological Transformers Timeline. And like I said, the series will return eventually. I just need to find a perfect time to bring back that series because there's a bunch of other things that are going on in my channel that are more important than this series. So you will see an episode very, very soon. I just need to find a perfect time to put this in. So, so yeah. It's, uh, my channel is doing good. Um, school is almost back. I'm going to be going back to school eventually. Um, like I said, um, when I go back to school, we'll go be ba going back to normal. We'll be going back to our no normally scheduled ep videos. You remember, Friday will be, in a, will be a video. Saturday, Sunday will be videos. Monday through Thursday will not, will not be any videos. So, um, just be aware of that. And, uh, hopefully we can get some things straightened out. And uh, I hope you guys have uh, watched the entire video, so um, that's it.
Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, see you later.